welcome back to another poly gel nail design set so this is the second set of the zodiac series which is the early set um i was a little all over the place when i did this set i do still think they came out cute but i was just a little everywhere with this but um for this video i did leave in like pretty much everything from the beginning to the end on how i did this set so I'm going to cut out, go to prep, and then we'll come back and get into the set. All right, so here is my prep. I'm just going to take that. I already started, but we can do it again. Take my metal cuticle pusher, push those cuticles out and back, all around. You can see I already started there on that middle finger and ring finger, but push them out on the sides and back around the cuticle take my e-file y'all this is my favorite e-file it is very heavy but it is my favorite because it's literally like no cords or anything attached to it and i can select my speed so that's why i love this one but all right e-file on low speed to um start one side go up go around the cuticle and then down the other side I had explained this many of times before that is pretty much all I do I do not file on my nail bed they already have enough ridges and grooves with so I don't need to create any more and that is it and let's not forget the little baby one I'll also at times, like especially for like my middle finger, because this finger tends to get like extremely um, dry. So I'll take my e-file just backwards and then go back around it. And this is pretty much just filing on that cuticle. Now I know a lot of people like to snip and cut the cuticle. I don't. Um, one, I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't want to cut my fingers. So I just don't. I just take my e-file backwards and then go over that cuticle and that kind of removes some of that dry hardness but yeah that's it now I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll get started okay so now let's get into the peel off base coat um, I have said this before but this peel off base coat is pretty thick so I'll add some to the nail and then I'll go back and spread it out and make sure it is even and the whole nail is covered I do care these, um, the peel off base coat for 60 seconds, regardless of which brand it is, I care for 60 seconds. Actually, my lamp is, if anybody is wondering, it's 180 watts. And so it, it works pretty good. It does the job. I don't have much of an issue. So curing the base coat at 60 seconds worked pretty good. Okay. This poly gel is from Lanfo. It's not available on Amazon anymore. So I do not have a link. In fact, I don't have a link for a lot of these colors that I used in this one, but um, pretty, pretty, really pretty color, nice product. I don't have an issue with it. No need to get all into that because I don't have a link for it, but I'm just putting that poly gel, working it nicely around the cuticle. And it's this video is sped up, but I'm working really slow around the cuticle just trying to get it as nice and close as I can without flooding and then clean off the little bit that do manage to get on the skin after doing that I'll drag it and pull it over to the side and then I gave this a quick cure so somewhere between 8 to 15 seconds I did the same thing for the pinky originally um, the design was going to be the same on the pointer and pinky but you will see a little later, I did make a few little changes there. But overall, it's the same nail bed. I'm just pulling it to the side, just the opposite side of the pointer finger. Now I'm going to take this poly gel. It is a pretty purple. And I'm just squeezing out a thin bead or a small a little bit. Because I wanted the line to be really thin. I just wanted pretty much a highlight line. So I didn't want um, a whole lot of this color at this point in doing the nail. So just a thin little layer, just enough so it is 
just you can just barely see it pretty much um did that on both pointer and pinky now we're gonna go in with this poly gel from more van this is a clear poly gel and they have a really really fine purple glitter in it this was my first time using this particular tube of poly gel in fact i'm not even sure which kit it came in but this poly gel is this particular tube is sticky and a little bit on the runnier side which i don't usually have that issue when it comes down to more van poly gel but this particular tube that was the case all right i'm just just pretty much spreading it down really thin and then i'm adding these letters and i'm spelling out the word aries again this is my aries set which is the second set of the zodiac series and I kind of just put them on there kind of like diagonally. And then I take, um, push them all down into that uncured poly gel. And then just kind of rearrange them just to make sure I like the placement of them. Now I did do this same thing on the pinky finger, but um, I didn't like it too much. It, it was just the lettuce was too big for that finger as you can see there so i do wind up taking that off and that is why the design kind of changed from the pointer and the pinky all right so this clear poly gel i get it from amazon this me personally my opinion is the clearest clear i have ever used and i have quite a bit of poly gel in fact i just recently uploaded a short on my nail room just pretty much my poly gel collection and so i have uh, i have tried many a brands but this one still is like the clearest clear i have ever used um i'm just gonna pretty much encapsulate the letters again this poly gel is so clear and so the letters stand out very very well with that clear and i did just give that a quick um 15 second cure now here's a thing for you guys so if you guys are looking for a poly gel, like if you go over top and polish and do your designs and stuff like that, and you're looking for a poly gel, I definitely recommend going with Clear or that particular brand of Clear because this one, at least, it cures very, very hard. And so, you know, some poly gels cure a little bit on the soft side, but those that one cures really, really hard. So that's a good option for you guys. But all right, I'm, getting, I'm going all off track. All right, so this one is from, who's this? Okay, Models 1 Poly Gel in a light purple. Now, I don't have anything against Model 1. I do use their poly gels here and there, but it's not my favorite. It is a little softer than some others. It is a little more runny. It is a bit sticky. I do have to work a little bit quicker when I use them. So they're not my favorite, but I use all poly gel. All right, this red one is from McCart. It is the neon kit, my favorite neon kit. Um, the red is just really, really pretty. And all I was doing was just taking this dotting tool, put the poly gel on the form, take the dotting tool, and just kind of push it in in some areas to create like a wavy line. And that's all I pretty much do. For me, when I do my sets, I don't have a clear idea on what it is that I'm doing. I just kind of go with the flow. And that is all I was doing, just switching back and forth between the three color options, which is the dark purple, the red, and the light purple. I'm sorry, four, and the new color. And just was kind of going back and forth between the colors, putting it on there, a little bead somewhere, and then pushing it in with the dotting tool. Um... I'm sorry, yeah, I was thirsty. But yeah, just repeat that, do that whole process. All right, so I was ending this nail off with this new color. And I just put that color on this side and then the light purple on the other side. And that pretty much finished up that pointer finger. And then um, that was that. And then for his pretty much the process for the pinky. So it was the same thing, just without the um, word Aries. All right. Those two fingers are out of the way. All right. So now for the ring finger and middle finger, 
I am just squeezing out a big bead of um, more Van Poly Gel. Again, this was the same exact color as the Model 1's Poly Gel. But because the Model 1 one was runny and sticky, I switched and got the same color just in a different brand. It just makes it easier for me. On top of um, more Van is one of my favorite Poly Gels. And I like to do the one bead method. And so me trying to use that more van one to scope out one long nail, I just knew that was going to be like a pain in the ass. So, all right, all I did was squeeze a fairly big bead out. I squeezed as much out as I could. And now I'm just like dragging it down. Now, when I do a solid nail, as I drag it down, I try to drag it from the sides that way I can still keep the shape of the nail while pulling it down. And then when I feel like I pull too much, I'll just kind of swipe it back up to make sure I have enough in my center area. Um, at this point, I felt like I was using a lot of force and a lot of pressure to drag the poly gel down. And when that happens, that's just an indication that you may need to add some more because it should just be able to go down nice and easy. If it, you're feeling like you got to pull it down and you're like really stretching it, just add a little bit more. When they uncured, they blend together very nicely, seamless, so that's not an issue. And then just blend it up into the bead you previously had. Now at this point, I'm just cleaning everything, making sure the bulk of the poly gel is down the center. Um, and that is my process for doing a solid nail. That is the same process I did for the ring finger. So recap, I like to do a one bead method drag it down from the sides, add more if need be, and then before I cure, make sure the bulk of it is down the center. Of course, when I removed those forms, they were not cured on the underside. So I'm just taking my brush with a little alcohol and just pushing everything back in place, making sure the nail is nice and smooth under there. And here are the nails after. Um, just the three needed the bulk of the file and the two in the middle file fairly easy, didn't require a lot. So for these, I did start out with a green coarse bit. I typically like to start out with a two time coarse bit, but because the purples, all of the purples and the new color, they cured fairly soft. I just didn't want to be too aggressive when it came down to filing. So I'm just removing the bulk with a coarse bit. Focusing on pretty much the end of the nails. That was like the bulkiest. Then I went in with a fine bit. The fine bit just kind of evens the nail out. And um, just kind of remove any like deep scratches or dents that the coarse bit made. And I all whatever I do on one nail, I always do it on the other. After I finish with the fine bit, we just wipe that dust away. That's actually a makeup brush I'm using to wipe that dust away. It works great. I've been using it for these past years. It works great. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to take my hand file, which is a 100-180 grit, and I file around the cuticle area first. I'm not the best when it comes down to shaping and filing, but I do my best. After I do the cuticle area, I file the surface of the nail, and following the surface of the nail is what give that nail that pretty look, that pretty shape, that pretty nail look. So file over the surface of the nail, making sure the whole nail is chalky, make sure everything has scratches over it, just make sure everything is filed. I use my green file to file my shape. I'll file it that way and then flip my hand over and do the other side. And then after, um, after shaping, I'll clean up my tip a little bit. This is how I start out with cleaning up my tip. And then I'll take and put my hand down. Let me slow down. I'll put my hand down on my sink and then file it this way. And this just ensures that it is nice and even. And I'll do that again on all the nails. Then I take my thin wood hand file. And um, I take the thin wood hand file, clean the sides, clean up the under, underneath of the nail. And that gives me that slope like look. So if your nails look wide, make sure you're following the underside because that is where some of the width look is coming from. All right, just wash my hands with some dish soap, scrubbing around them cuticle areas real good. And I also file, I mean, sorry, and also scrub underneath just to get all of that dust, dirt, oil, grime, whatever off. Here are the nails. They were very pretty when they was wet. 
I like to fill them just to make sure the whole nail feel even, make sure the shape feel as nice as I was going to be able to get it. All right, so these are um, transfer, what are she called? They transfer stickers. Now, I get these from Shop Kiki. I get them from Instagram, but they do have a website, so you can go on Google. It is shopkiki.com. It is spelled S H O P K E E K I. Shopkiki.com. They have every freaking character in every shade. Like, she has a variety of stuff for every holiday. It's really nice. So, if you guys can't draw and stuff like me, definitely go check out um, her website or check her out on her page on Instagram. She pretty much has every character for every holiday, for every event. All right, so I put those on the nail. Now I'm going to remove the clear part. This part is always so satisfying for me because it transfers so well. But a tip, make sure if you have these, you put it where you want it to go because they do not just wipe off with alcohol or acetone. I literally have to file it off to get it off. So make sure you put it on there where you want it to go before you give that a good rub. Okay, so now we got the Venalisa top coat. Um, I did use the top coat, of course, on all of the nails. My favorite top coat, a nice thin even layer. And then I like to wipe the sides and I just wipe the extra on a little paper towel, a little napkin. Now I'm going to go in with these um, Uri, I'm sorry, y'all about to say Taurus. I'm about to go in with the Uri symbols, um, zodiac signs, and I put one on the pinky finger. And then I take these red, which I got these from AliExpress. I take these red rhinestones and just kind of fill it in. Let me back up. So the Uri's, um symbols and the word that I'm going to use soon, I got those from Amazon. I feel like it was better to get them from Amazon because you get all 12 months. Um, I think it was like two of each for each month. Opposed to on AliExpress, you have to buy each month separately. So that was a little pain. So definitely if you're looking for like Zodiacs, get them from Amazon. Okay, so for this one, just um, same thing pretty much just without the uh, symbol. I'm just adding some rhinestones on there, some on the middle finger. Um, the rhinestones I did get from AliExpress. And I believe the pack was for like a dollar and 19 cent. I think it was 1600 in the pack or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, and I haven't had to refill my little bling box in a while. So they do last pretty well. Same now for the pointer finger, just went in with a symbol and pretty much the same thing I did with the pinky. I did with the pointer finger. All right, so while that's kind of playing out, you guys know I have to thank you guys. Thank you so much for taking out the time to watch my videos. I definitely love and appreciate you guys for that. Um, I, I really do because y'all are the ones that's growing this little channel. So I thank y'all. I thank y'all. Um, if I can ask you guys for some extra support and go follow my Facebook, please. It's Miss Brittany Nails. I'm trying to grow that also. But if you guys don't have a Facebook, that is fine. I appreciate your love here. This is just a better um, view, in my opinion, of the set. But thank you, guys. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, please go follow me over there on Facebook. But thank you, guys. Love y'all. And I'll talk to you in the next set. Bye.